This like button's right down here, Toronto Raptors fans. It is right here. Get out of the way now, because I know you're coming here just to dislike the video. So get out of the way now, and uh, if you bother commenting, I'm just going to delete that shit, because I don't want to have to fucking deal with you. So get out of the way, dislike it right now, and we're about to start right now. Here we go. For the slam dunk, he's got 33. That's Bush League. And taking flight. And he hears it from the crowd. Oh, that's, a, that's just Bush League. He's Pascal on the inside. Got it. And the foul. And Doc Rivers wants a coach's challenge. Well, you get what you deserve. Pascal Siakam going right at him. Bead. It's just uncalled for. I mean, be a good sportsman. And you know what it is. Matt Karma is a you know what, right? Well, scummy subhuman announcers for a scummy subhuman fan base. Like, you people fucking sicken me to my core. You're supposed to be professionals. I can see why some awful Raptors fans were going to go out there that wish death on Embiid's child, on his girlfriend. Wish death, saying that they're glad that Embiid's brother died. That happens all the time with these assholes, and it's nothing new with them. I, I expect that from them because they're awful, just fucking degenerate, heinous human beings. But you, like you, you have an actual job. You have an actual job as a journalist, a sports commentator, to be better than that. When a fan base chants "fuck you." So many times during the series at you, and he has a dunk to essentially clinch the game, and all he does is do a little airplane thing. He deserves that. Are you willing to tell that he deserves to get his face broken because of that? He could have done way worse. Do you realize that he could have done way worse in that situation? He could have flipped you off. He could have mooned you or whatever. Like Giannis, a couple uh, months ago, sat down on the Sixers logo after. Uh, the Bucks after the Bucks beat us in the Wells Fargo Center. And that was hilarious. That was great. That was the nature of competition. It wasn't outright disrespectful. It was just funny. And MB doing the wind, uh, doing the little airplane thing was funny too. But no, it's classless. It's Bush League. He he's, doesn't have to stoop down to that level. It's such a horrible thing. Man, fuck you, Jack Armstrong. And by the way, you're shitty. Hi! That's the shittiest catchphrase in all of the sports. Your fucking shitty Brooklyn accent. I have no idea why the fuck you're even the announcer for the Raptors. I expect the Raptors color commentator to be like, Ooh, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have to stick down to that level, eh? I mean it's awful. He shouldn't really should have to do that. It's, he doesn't have to be a fucking idiot and uh go out and do the fucking airplane. Yeah, I have no idea what that's all about. I have no idea what that's all about. I really don't. Jack Armstrong, you are a fucking subhuman garbage, and you're perfect for this fan base who's filled with nothing but subhuman pieces of garbage. I just want to say say that one more time. I'm going to continue thinking that, because I can, I can actually have conversations with every other fan base that's a rival to ours. Mets fans, Braves fans, Cowboys fans even, Giants fans, Penguins fans, Rangers fans. Uh, Celtics fans, Knicks fans, Nets fans, I can have a conversation with all of them, but you people do not want to listen to anything, you want to listen, you want to just live in your own fantasy world, you want to live in your own bubble, and it is absolutely appalling how awful human beings you are. It really is. The NBA should just get rid of the Toronto Raptors as a whole, move them to Seattle and so they can be the new Supersonics, because you don't deserve anything. You didn't deserve that fluke championship that you only won because uh, the Warriors, everyone on their team got hurt, and you cheered it because of that. You have a track record of cheering for players getting hurt. Imagine how embarrassing that is. That's what people know you for. Maybe you should focus on the Maple Leafs losing in the first round like they, like they do all every year. You people suck, and I fucking hate you. Jack Armstrong, you are just the living embodiment of every single one of these asshole tryhard little degenerates that all that love to just live online all the time so fuck you